after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, let's have some fun while we have a minute here. Fantasy drafts are in full swing. I know I've got my family fantasy draft coming up, Charles. Who would be your top three picks? I know that you're a noted fantasy football expert, so who would you take? Well, you've got to start with guys who are going to touch the football and put it in the end zone, right? You've got to score points. How about Saquon Barkley with the Giants? You know he's going to run it. He's going to catch it. When they get desperate, they may actually have him return it as well. Alvin Kamara is an absolute matchup nightmare for everyone. And Christian McCaffrey, did he ever come off the field last year? <laughs> and, you know, this guy, he's a threat to be a 1,000-yard runner and a 1,000-yard receiver as is Camara. So this is going to be fun to watch. I can't wait to see those guys do their thing, but there are plenty of other guys out there too. If Zeke comes along, you've got to take him. Melvin Gordon, if they both come to camp, we'll see how that works out. How about Todd Gurley and his health? Because, boy, when he touches the ball, great things usually happen. And then wondering, someone like Le'Veon Bell took the year off, now a new offense. But if he starts going like he used to, he's obviously going to be a good one. Fresh legs is what you're counting on with Le'Veon Bell and a fresh start in New York with the Jets. And if you're looking for an exciting rookie, remember this. Kyler Murray's going to get the ball from the first snap, and they're going to leave him in there throughout. And as long as he stays healthy, he's going to pitch around the park a bunch. Don't be surprised if he gets a little love, too. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. sack to Vita Vea and we say it all the time have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that you have to help your offensive line out they're going to protect you as best they can and if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball they're doing a really nice job but when you hold it and give up a sack you're really almost discrediting their work the punter Bosher on now as he gets this one away before they can get the punt away whistles as we come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time, one play interception, so this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling, because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, you get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Ready? From the 32 now, here's first and 10. The play action fake, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Double tight, guys, double tight. You got three, three down, three down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. 
Out to the left there and complete to Howard. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 22 yards there, a first down. First down, Tampa Bay. Winston now 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. Play fake. Winston. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On the delay, Jones. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Winston on fourth down. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. There goes a deep ball in zone. And all it will be intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. And he is all the way up past the 25. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open but you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're gonna gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. On second and 11 now, Ryan connects with Sanu right side. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 39. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what 